smart specs to me. Definitely. I have bought this mobile in 2003. For the past 12 years, I have changed this battery only once. It had fallen down so many times, yet it works. It works very well. How is that possible? <laughs> At my hometown, we have a 60 years old wooden wall clock. All it needs is a winding once in two days. It is relentlessly ticking every second, even now. How is it possible? There must be only one reason for it. Quality. Quality of that product. Each and everything in the world having a quality aspect. If the quality is good, it gets people's attention. It gets people's recognition. It gets its own pride. On the other hand, if the quality is bad, then it is just treated as one among others. It is said that the quality of a painting is quality of a painter. Similarly, the quality of a speech is the quality of a speaker. speaker. So in that effort, in our club, we have found out we are in need of an imminent change. A change which is going to improve your quality, your speech quality, and our club quality. We have to learn, adapt, and excel. It's just three simple like, changes. We are going to do it. I'm sure if you adopt those, you will, you will be showing uh, improvement in your every speech. The first one, start before you start. The mentee should approach the mentor before you start drafting your speech. It takes just 15 minutes. Discuss with your mentor about um, what the project really means and go through all the feedback that you got in your previous project. I'm sure it will reduce a lot of your preparation time. Generally what happens is, the mentee thinks, thinks and thinks and comes up with a topic and tries to fit in the objective on his topic. It is like uh, stitching a shirt without taking a measurement. You can wear it, but definitely it won't look good. The second one, assess your mentee's strengths and weaknesses. This is exclusive for mentors. Don't enforce your mentee and don't enforce what you are good at to a mentee. Look at the strengths of your mentee and suggest how to improve with it. And identify the weakness of him and uh, suggest him how to get away with them. Initiate how to transfer the weakness into strength. In short, such just give an idea how to minimize the weakness and how to maximize the strength. For example, if a speaker he has a very good voice clarity, suggest him how to effectively uh, modulate that voice. <coughs> And if the same person has a problem in flow of speech, you can suggest him to practice tongue twister daily 10 times morning and evening. The third one, hold responsibility. Both mentor and mentee should hold the responsibility. Mentor should value mentee and mentee should value mentor. A good mentor doesn't wait until the mentee comes to him. Just one question with care is enough. A mentee would feel someone is out there to help me. He will be sincere. At the same time, mentee also should have the readiness to reach your mentor before he does. <coughs> Both should work in tandem. <coughs> Discuss openly. Give freedom to each other. Be it a script or your content or whatever the delivery. Don't you think these three simple rules are easy to follow? 
Yes. yes. Yeah. But you might be having a question. Where can I find for time for this? You are Toastmasters, you know the value of time. You know the value of every single minute. They look up. Still, I can give one small tip. Every alternate day, just invest 15 minutes exclusively for this. So you'll be getting 45 minutes a week. That is a solid three hours per month. So practice these rules with sincerity, diligence, and determination. Demonstrate your willingness to change. Demonstrate the willingness to start before you start. Demonstrate your willingness to change your weaknesses into strength. Demonstrate your willingness to hold the responsibility both mentally and mentally. Mahatma Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in the world. I'm saying, be the change you want to see in this club. Okay.